longtime bandmates, Rolling Stones legends Mick Jagger and Keith Richards have had their share of feuds, but few were as public or pointed as the rift that led to Richards' 1988 solo song, You Don't Move Me. While Jagger has rarely written directly about his bandmate, Richards took aim with this track in a way that left little doubt about its target. Here's a look at the feud that sparked one of rock's most notorious put-down songs. For anyone familiar with the dynamic between Jagger and Richards, it's perhaps unsurprising that the two have butted heads over the decades. After all, they've been writing and performing together for nearly 60 years, a collaboration that has produced some of the most iconic rock songs in history. Yet they're different personalities. Jagger, the ambitious and polished frontman, and Richards, the laid-back, rebellious guitarist, have frequently clashed. By the mid-1980s, the tensions between them had reached a boiling point. Their disagreements weren't just personal, but artistic. Jagger wanted the Rolling Stones to adapt to the musical landscape of the 80s, embracing pop trends and a more polished sound. Richards, however, was staunchly loyal to traditional rock and roll, resistant to modern trends. This conflict came to a head with the release of the band's 1986 album, Dirty Work. Jagger, increasingly focused on his solo career, left much of the album's creation and production to Richards, a rare shift in the band's power dynamic. But when Jagger refused to tour or actively promote the album, tensions escalated. Richards, who had long resisted releasing a solo album out of loyalty to the Stones, finally relented following Jagger's detachment from the band. His solo album, Talk Is Cheap, was released in 1988 and was well received, especially in comparison to Jagger's solo efforts. Among the album's standout tracks was You Don't Move Me, which immediately sparked speculation that its biting lyrics were aimed squarely at Jagger. Lines like, why do you think you got no friends or you drove them around the bend and what makes you greedy or makes you so seedy, were too pointed to be interpreted as anything other than a direct critique of Jagger. While Richards has always played coy about the song's true target, often suggesting it could have been about a woman, there's little doubt among fans and critics that Jagger was the intended subject. Richards wrote the music to You Don't Move Me First, but it wasn't until his Talk Is Cheap collaborator Steve Jordan suggested he write about Jagger that the lyrics began to flow. The song has been compared to John Lennon's How Do You Sleep, a similarly scathing track aimed at Paul McCartney. But whereas Lennon's song took shots at McCartney's music, You Don't Move Me felt far more personal, addressing Jagger's character and behavior. Despite the bitterness evident in the song, the icy relationship between Jagger and Richards eventually began to thaw. By 1989, the Rolling Stones reunited for the Steel Wheels album, with the single mixed emotions signaling a reconciliation of sorts. Yet, You Don't Move Me remains a powerful reminder of a time when two of rock's greatest collaborators were at serious odds. In the parlance of a romantic relationship, Jagger and Richards were on a break, and Richard's ruthless solo song certainly helped drive the wedge deeper during that tumultuous period. 